Hi, my name is Corbett Ratcliffe. I'd like to share a little bit about myself with you today and explain how I can help create innovative learning experiences for the students of Birdville ISD. So I grew up in Austin and contrary to most Austinites, I could not wait to leave. So I moved up to Fort Worth and attended TCU where I received my bachelor's in education in uh, 2008 and my master's in education in 2009. I started working in Fort Worth ISD in 2010 doing ELA uh, for sixth and eighth grade. In 2014, I moved to Northwest ISD where I taught fifth grade ELA and social studies and then in 2018 I moved up to middle school again teaching just eighth grade U.S. history. I've always been the teacher that likes to try new things and to take risks and try to do something that's outside the box and encourage my students to do the same. Typically on my campus I'm one of the go-to people to try out new technology ideas just to see how they work, see if the kids enjoy them and and just kind of explore the learning possibilities. So to build innovative learning experiences for the students, I began day one approaching digital citizenship. I try to help them understand that technology like anything else is a tool and tools have intended purposes. And while a tool can be used for a variety of projects, if it's not used correctly, then people can get hurt. So the same applies to technology. The second thing that I focus on with my students is building tech proficiency. So this could be in the form of understanding how to do research. It could be in the form of exposing them to different technology resources uh, in order to build and create different products. All in all, they need practice to be able to learn how to use those things effectively and efficiently. And so there's a lot of exploratory learning that's involved in my classes as well. Once the students have had a chance to play around with different types of technology and I feel like they've built a decent proficiency, uh, then we'll put those things into practice and I try to give the kids some choice early on in the year, typically beginning with the items that we have practiced with. But as we progress throughout the year, I extend those choices uh, to other things that the students might be interested in using. For example, my end of year project for my uh, eighth grade history students is just to answer a simple question and being able to address it however they want with any resource that they want. It allows them to take a whole lot of ownership and they apply their own accountability to what they're doing and they seem to have more fun with what they're doing as well. The last step for me is feedback. And what this does is allow students to build their self-confidence in what they're doing, especially if they're exploring something that they initially were not very familiar with. And for me, it gives me a better sense of what uh, their interests are. And ultimately, it helps me figure out uh, what areas are their strengths and what areas we still need to work on, uh, not just as a student, but as a learner.